Harper in Southfield as we turn our attention to the sunny skies. It is a beautiful start to the day. Meteorologist Hallie Vogel here now bringing more good news for us. We at least get one more day of this, but yeah. when do those temperatures start to dip? Because I heard we're going to have a dramatic dip. A dramatic dip early next week. So I think we'll get through the weekend above average. Okay. And then we're going to have some rain to deal with too this weekend. So Sunday, not the greatest day, but the dramatic drop in temperatures will come Monday. Forecast models are trying to push in a little bit of that rain snow mix. I know I don't even want to talk about it, but we have to. But the warm temperatures do continue over the next couple of days, dry until late Saturday. And then even some thunder possible Saturday night into Sunday. 77 degrees sunny in Detroit right now. Dew point nice and low, signifying that the air is very dry, hence the sunshine. Southwest winds at 12, a little breezy as we go through the afternoon. Look at these temperatures, 76 in Mount Clemens, 78 in Howell, and just shy of 80 Port Huron with that sun shining. We look at our winds, and yesterday was quite gusty. Today, not quite as windy, but going to see those uh, winds gusting about 20 to 25 right through the afternoon, but a dramatic drop off as we head into tonight. Even tomorrow, winds look light or even calm during the day. So when we look at where we're headed as far as our temperatures go, our temperatures top off in the low 80s today, well above our average. We know that we're typically in the 50s. We'll drop to that, so we'll see close to what we see for daytime highs for overnight lows and then up near 80 again tomorrow. If we can get to 81 tomorrow, that would tie an old record, and that was set back in 2006, maybe just shy of that record. Area of high pressure to our south, low pressure to the north, but this big dome of stability is creating the warm and dry, windy weather for us. Look at the temperatures divided in the 70s to the south of the front, 40s back to the north and west, and this is the air mass we'll, we'll eventually see, I think, by the time we get into next week. So we look at our hour-by-hour forecast area of low pressure stays back to our west so again we're seeing the warm temperatures again tomorrow and rain free we get into saturday certainly going to see more cloud cover the later it gets into the afternoon especially toward the evening we'll see a chance for rain showers so those showers come in saturday evening saturday night and then more widespread during the day on sunday and that's when we could get a little rumble of thunder during the afternoon on sunday colder air spins in behind the system and the question is whether we get rain on monday or we could see a little bit of that mix tomorrow again looking fantastic with that sunshine for most of the day. I think we'll see a few afternoon clouds temperatures 80 upper 70s on Saturday with the rain on Sunday we will still be in the low 70s and look at that drop from Monday 40s for highs and again may get rain or a little mix then temperatures do recover by mid.